With Canada's largest women's curling competition scheduled to take place later this month, a controversy over Curling Canada's pregnancy exemption eligibility is being criticized, with some saying that policies within sports organizations should also consider consulting with athletes so that women do not need to make the difficult decision of choosing between career and family. It was already discriminatory on the face of it, and then in practice obviously would be. It was the initial decision by Curling Canada to limit eligibility for a pregnancy exemption at this year's Scotty's Tournament of Hearts that received major backlash. It meant that only the top five teams in the national rankings were allowed to apply for an exemption that would allow a team to use a replacement player, even if the athlete didn't play in the provincial championships. I would feel a bit insulted because the wording said that it only applied to the top five teams because words like it's um, more difficult to get high level players um, and the, their commitment to be the substitutes at those top five, at the top five level, as if the people in top six um, were, were nothing. On Thursday, Curling Canada changing course to expand the exemption for the 2024 season. In a statement, Curling Canada further explained saying, a new exemption from residency rules for teams who replace an athlete on parental leave in the lineup will be brought in to include all teams that play in Canada's National Men's and Women's Curling Championships next season. But that wasn't good enough, with players still upset the exemption would not apply to this season. And just one day later, a change of heart, with Curling Canada tweeting out, Please note that we have reached out to all 2023 Canadian Women's Championship participants to offer the 2024 pregnancy parental leave policy. I'm a bit surprised that they did such a quick turnaround because uh, sports organizations are notorious for just kind of dragging their feet and ignoring um, what, what backlash or opposition they might get. Helen Jefferson Linsky is a women's studies professor at the University of Toronto. She says it's not unusual for women to participate in professional curling well into their pregnancies. And where Curling Canada fell short was not including all women to begin with. She says policies in sports in general need to include the athletes when making these types of decisions. Policies that take into account that, that women can define, is my pregnancy causing me a quote disability or is my pregnancy perfectly fine and I want to just keep doing what I'm doing in my sport and not have any um, external people telling me what to do. So it's kind of a fine line between self-determination and uh, sort of a protectionist attitude. Curling Canada's existing policy will remain in force for the 2023 Women's and Men's Championship. Melissa Nakavali, City News.